Alors bonjour docteur, et donc c'est un mode milieu. C'est un plaisir de nous saluer ce matin. Hein? Donc, euh, nous dit euh, docteur Moïse, bonjour, et nous dit bonjour sur 1550, puis quoi, Anamène? Bonjour. Bonjour, docteur Moïse. Bonjour, docteur Jean-Baptiste et Aliko. Bonjour. La société, bonjour amis Facebook, bonjour chers auditeurs, bonjour nous-mêmes qui avons été sur notre social media. Good morning to those listening on the radio, good morning to those listening or watching through social media. Um, we welcome you this morning, we're happy that you're with us. Nous espérons que vous passez une bonne semaine et nous souhaitons une bonne fin de semaine. We trust that you. Um, had a really good week and we hope that you continue to have a great weekend. Okay, donc uh, je dis à sans nous pas perdre du temps. Nous pas parler de ça qui passé la nouvelle. So today um without further ado, we're going to talk about what's been being discussed um in the news. Alors ça veut dire et pas qui show. So the empathic show? Oh, so um, hot, so she made an analogy: hot patty, hot Haitian patty. <laughs> so it's, so everybody, it's it's like fresh off the press. Everybody really wants it right now. That information. Yeah. Donc, uh, je dis on a parlé de monkeypox. So today we're going to discuss monkeypox. It's not to say that COVID's not here still, or that we're not going to discuss it anymore, but. Mais ça qui nous arrive, ce même ça, le gouvernement Biden a déclaré monkeypox comme une urgence publique. Um, what has happened is that in the past week, President Joe Biden has declared a state of emergency as it pertains to monkeypox. Et même t'as regardé World um, World Aid. World Aid? Uh huh. Well, how do you say that in French? Are you talking about who? Organization. Organization. World Health Organization. Yeah. Organization for the health. Mondial. Declared that it's a global, just global. So the World Health Organization has declared this another global health concern. Alors, en pile de fois, nous remarquons que nous disons, oh, maladie, ça a son secteur dans la population qui est capable d'attraper, l'autre pour nous pas attraper. So sometimes we might think that with certain diseases or infections um, like monkeypox, that, you know what, this is something that's impacting a different community. It's not going to impact, or it's, it's not something that's going to impact my community as something distant. Yes. Mais faut moi rappeler nous, nous, toutes ces humains, Et si un groupe capable d'attraper ou même tout capable d'attraper. But please let me um, if, remind you that we all are humans. So if one group can contract um, a certain um, group of diseases, you can as well. Et pour me capable de corroborer ça, je vais faire une recherche pour me deviner par les jours d'hier. Moi, je vais vous conseiller de cas que vous parlez de monde qui part, supposé prendre, qui prend. 
So um, to corroborate what I'm sharing, um, I was looking at some information that was discussing how some people who contracted it who shouldn't have even contracted it. Um, are you saying that they didn't take the necessary precautions? Well, no, because they are not, uh, because they usually try with group and uh -huh. people who are people, and that's the bad approach because mm. a lot of time that's doing more damage. Because right. So if you're targeting out. groups, I see what you're saying, because I, I think I know what you're talking, which group you're talking about. Yes. And when you start to highlight one group, people think, oh, it's happening in this community. It's not happening in mine or the people that it's hurting is hurting. They look this way or they're engaging in these behaviors. So it's not affecting me. So, OK, thank you for clarifying. Yes. So it's like that there are two babies that are attacked. So I saw that there were two infants who um, contracted monkeypox. And there are people who are doing like uh, work, work in gas station. Yep. Um, <laughs> they work in a station gasoline with a hotel being attacked too. So folks who are working in the gas station and hotel industries are also contracting um, this virus. Ça, ça veut dire? Ça veut dire que son virus, quel que soit son affaire, ça dépend du type de travail qu'on peut faire, qui est capable de mettre un risque pour attraper la maladie. Ça. So what this means is that there's a certain um, types of work that you do that um, can increase the likelihood of you contracting this um, virus and, um, yeah. Mais ça nous connaît, nous connaît que bon hygiène, c'est-à-dire que leur mettre masque avec leur mettre gants ça c'est une la une façon pour capable protéger tête so one preventative strategy um one that we're familiar with um with the covid-19 pandemic is wearing a mask and wearing gloves to protect yourself um from and the good contact. hand washing and good hand washing if you're Le, not wearing laver mes mains bien yeah. ou mettre l'eau Vu de ça avant tout lui ou ou faut des mains pendant 20 secondes et puis mm -hmm. donc là ça pour mais ou désinfecter mains leur fin toucher une porte leur sort si vous rentrez combien de bars vous faites pour la tête oh sorry <laughs> So, so make sure to wash your hand with soap at least 20 seconds. One thing that I like to tell my um, my nephews and nieces is to sing a song while you're washing your hand. So if the song's not finished, then you're not finished scrubbing. So that's one way to help of children um, to know how long they need to be washing their hands with soap. Yes. Et parce que là que maladie elle transmet par plusieurs façons. Les transmettre, par exemple, si vous avez un contact serré avec le monde, vous avez le attraper les ça. So there's a variety of ways that you can contract the virus. So one is if you have serious contact with someone else who already um, is carrying it as a host, you, um, it can also be transmitted to you. Mais vous découvrez, par exemple, que le virus, là, là, que là, là, par exemple, si vous avez une infection, là, là, vous avez une porte. Donc, virus là, doit chiter dans la porte là. The other thing, mm -hmm. so the other thing is if someone had a virus and they touched the door, that virus can sit and stay in that area um, and someone else may touch it as well. Et puis, par exemple, mon qui tape travaille dans l'hôtel, c'est eux même qui fait, c'est eux même qui fait housekeeping, qui nettoie, chambre hôtel là, retire les draps. Donc, si là, ça y va, il y a un masque avec gants. Donc, so those who are working in hotels, for instance, who are, you know, cleaning sheets, they're washing, um, cleaning the entire hotel, if they're not wearing masks and they're not wearing gloves, then that also can um, create some concerns and spread as well. Parce que virus là, les propage pour un liquide que pour gagner, par exemple, ils sont pas qu'un petit bouton. Si vous êtes en pété, vous avez de l'eau, de l'eau liquide, ça, sur l'autre monde à toucher, il y a de l'eau à So, um, one of the characteristics of monkeypox is um, uh, having a bump or a pimple, um, and those pimples have fluids inside of them. So, if you, if the, the pimple or bump 
bursts, the liquid, um, that liquid is what's um, problematic and can spread um, uh, and create uh, a, a greater likelihood that someone else can contract it. Yes. And two, the person who has infection, the person who has the person who the So if this person is also kind of like you're in close contact and this person is breathing um, and there's maybe droplets um, that has made contact with you and you're sharing that space, that's also a way that, so even if they don't touch you, so it's just air, um, just you're breathing, kind of close, yeah. just breathing air, sharing the same breath, yeah. breathe air. Um, so if you're sharing that space, so I, so what that makes me think of is like airplanes maybe, um, where everybody's kind of breathing the same that's air. Fine. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so we we'll have to be careful. You wear a double mask if you are. Uh, si vous, si que par exemple, ou l'on côté qui ouvert, donc risque la diminuer. Mais depuis que l'on chambre fermé ou bien le restaurant, le hôtel, sauf que plutôt pour précaution, vous mettez masque. So if you're in a place that's um open, um you're outside or it's a, a um kind of outdoor seating area, then you have, um, there's more chances that you won't contract um, the virus, but if you're in close quarters with others, then the likelihood increases. Yeah, so, uh, je dis à donc c'est de transmission, ça m'a nous avons parlé, parce que nous connaissons que les nous finissons parler tout bas, ça a nous créé un peu d'anxiété. Nous avons demandé de Dr. Moïse pour lui commenter sur l'anxiété et qui j'en nous capable de contrôler l'anxiété. Yes, yeah, so um, Dr. Jean-Baptiste was sharing that whenever we talk about these different topics, there's a certain level of anxiety that comes up for us. And um, so she's passing on the floor to me to kind of cover that piece. Um, so as we know, the same way that there was a lot of different levels of anxiety with COVID, um, we can imagine that there's some anxiety related to monkeypox. Comme nous connaît des gros paquets différents types d'anxiété avec à Covid là. Donc nous y en mais la même façon ça a tout par un certain degré de anxiété anxiété avec monkeypox ça. So what is anxiety? Ça ça anxiété à y. Anxiety is an emotion or a feeling that um is a uh, kind of represented by tension or worried thoughts. Anxiety is a sort of emotion that you can be quiet on all the things and a series of reflections that can be able to pass in your head. As well as, um, in addition to kind of tension and worried thoughts, there's also physical changes like blood pressure. Non seulement il doit poser des changements mentaux, mais il doit poser ses tomes physiques. Donc, la tension doit monter tout lorsqu'on est stressé. Parce que l'anxiété a ses stress liés. Yes. So, yeah. So, um, anxiety on a more um, significant level, if it's kind of like impairing your day to day functioning, you're not able to fully function at work and school, then it may lead to a disorder. Donc, il n'est pas tout. L'anxiété a tellement envahi que l'empêche de fonctionner. L'empêche de fonctionner le travail ou l'empêche de fonctionner le travail à l'école ou tout. Donc, on a passé un autre stade. Right. Yes. But what we're talking about today is not you people who have um, disordered experiences of anxiety. Ça que nous avons parlé, je dis à nous, pas parlé de monde qui a gagné. Ça y est, on dysfonctionnement, il y aurait des désordre. Donc, mm -hmm. maladie a, anxiété a tellement pour en lire que l'on peut tripler l'empêche de fonctionner. Donc, pour nous, il y a eu de ça, son condition que lui créer la caille. Mais ce n'est pas de ça que nous parlé je dis. Yeah, or at least we're not only talking about that. Oui, well, um, nous ne pas parler de ça seulement. <laughs> What we are saying is that anxiety is a very normal reaction to distressful, you know, kind of concerning situations. On a dit que l'anxiété a son réaction qui est normale. Le côté 
en circonstance qui a stressé ou. Yeah, and we, you know, anxiety oftentimes tells us what is it that I need to do next. It's kind of like an alert. Anxiety, c'est comme si c'est un son cloche qui sonne qui dit oh ça ça que vous me faites pour dire. Divin alerte ou comme si vous m'avez pour faire. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it also kind of um, sends messages to your brain that, okay, I'm safe, or maybe I'm not um, too safe. And there's... Après, there's un message dans le cerveau qui est capable de dire, est-ce que vous êtes vraiment en sécurité ou bien est-ce que vous pas en sécurité? And some of, some of those symptoms of anxiety or stressing out or restlessness it includes... Um, feeling nervous vous savez il y a des yo qui capable vinn for sans ou ou anxieux mm-hmm. anxieux alors les nerveux c'est à dire mon sous les nerfs n'importe qui bagaille fait lui irrité mhm mhm um or bouleversé um and having a sense of kind of danger coming or doom about to approach ou toujours senti que bon bah mal qui va passer comme tu senti que bon bah qui va arriver ou pour ou bon sens ou senti bah c'est là prêt pour vivre um there may be rapid breathing or hyperventilation avec ça qu'on y a la ville faut ou respirer vite mm-hmm. and um sweating and trembling la pour suer et on doit même trembler tout Um, there might be difficulty concentrating or thinking about anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's also kind of like your heartbeat racing. Right. So, and and then the difficulties with sleep, because that's typically where we see it, sleep and eating. <laughs> poser problème de sommeil ou il pas capable le coucher le cabane ou pas capable dormir is it because you're so, overthinking it could be because you're overthinking it could be um about that situation it could be because you haven't resolved or answered the questions that you've posed to yourself donc et pas capable dormir hein, c'est parce que tête au travail euh ou bien pour ça tout pour quoi ça pour régler ou pour régler ou pour résoudre situation et non mm-hmm. tu sais um that that you haven't kind of taken enough steps um to kind of respond to the situation so there's maybe some thoughts about like what else should i have done or maybe there was inaction or you didn't do anything at all ou bien on pense que ou bien on pas fait assez ou bien il faut qu'on fait ça pour faire pour résoudre situation Right. And so, um, and the same way we talked about, so anxiety could happen as it relates to a variety of things. It could be um, death in a family. Or it can come up like how we saw other people in different countries originally um, um, for instance what we saw in the beginnings in the early stages of covid-19 when we saw people struggling in china and people dying um, we saw those par exemple l'épidémie covid là au début nous on pas qu'un cap mort donc ça a agi sur nous and even though it had not um, made its way on a significant level to the U.S. at the time, there was still a certain level of worry and panic that was occurring. You mean in the beginning of the epidemic? In the beginning, yeah, in the beginning. Okay, la, la commencement epidemia, même le que du pot de cour envahi, je l'envahi noir. Tout au début, il y a tant qu'il y a un au niveau de anxiété qui était très haut. Yeah, and so. And then as it came, we noticed that the anxiety levels and a variety of other mental health concerns started to kind of um, increase and intensify over time. 
Ang sitiyamin bilo o. Um, so in the same way we were discussing kind of anxiety symptoms as it pertained to other infectious diseases. De la même façon que nous capable parler de anxiété, les la série de l'autre condition et infection tout. We want to um, encourage you to um, learn more about this virus. Nous aimerions que on encourage vous pour connaître plus sur le virus là. And to take the necessary precautions um, to protect yourself. And because what we know is that when we feel that we are in, um, engaging in a way that protects ourselves or we're being proactive. Nous connaissons que les nous les nous capables de gérer la situation n'a fait pas mieux pour nous capables. Il est déjà pour accès à dire que on fait un série de bagages pour prévenir. Bad consequences sont bon à lier. We get a sense of um, security and power and control over what's going on. Donc fait ça yo pour prévoir une série de situations négatives. Donc vous senti ou capable maîtriser situation plus bien. Um, in situations where it starts to feel like, okay, I'm doing everything. I learned all the information. Um, but yet, I'm still. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. La situation pour qu'on ait que moi apprendre tout bas, il me fait tout ça en gain pour me faire. Et non. Um, and that you're still feeling an overwhelming and maybe even debilitating sense of fear. Et malgré tout, vous sentez que vous avez une peur que vous pas capable de contrôler, qui envahit ou qui empêche de fonctionner. It may be helpful to kind of share these with close family members or friends. Peut-être que les gens capables d'essayer de partager avec des amis, familles ou qui capables de comprendre nous. And also reach out to your providers, your, oops, sorry, one second. Uh -huh. Sorry, we had an ambulance passing by. Yeah. We can, you can also reach out to your medical providers to okay. really. You can go to the contact for your medical. Yeah, and then um, you can be connected to a mental health um, personnel yeah. or even your PCP can help alleviate. You can go to the medical center, you can go to the clinic of santé mentale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the last thing I wanted to say is a antidote, which is related to a friend of mine who's been very worried about monkeypox. virus. <laughs> And she's pregnant. Maybe on set. And she is calling every day and she's like, girl, did you see what was, do you see how many people are contracting? Do you know how it's going to affect me? Chaque jour, je dis, est-ce que vous voyez tout le monde qui prend vous? Est-ce que vous connaissez qui j'en que, qui j'en vous pensez que capable de prendre moi-même? And so what she decided, because she's very proactive, um, she's Allez, already... Mm -hmm. She decided, and she, she of course gave me permission. She was like, you can use me on your show. So, uh, <laughs> so she spoke with her provider. She has increased her dose on Lexapro and she's actually pregnant. So she spoke with her provider. She has increased her dose on Lexapro and she's actually pregnant. So she spoke with her provider. She has She in addition, she's taken all of the necessary steps. She's purchased she's bought a variety of different um, toiletries for the house and food for the house so she doesn't have to make contact with other people. And she's, and she's making sure to prioritize herself and just stay 
isolated so that she can protect herself and her child, her unborn Et child. Et elle fait attention pour être isolée, pour protéger tête-lui avec petit père. May I say a word about that? Yeah, yeah. So, le monde enceinte, uh, le conseil de virus doit attraper, il n'est pas bon pour petit bébé qui l'enfant toi. Donc, when she's pregnant and you, you're infected with a certain virus, it's not good for the health of the child. Surtout dans le début de la conception. Donc, conseil de malformation cardiaque, conseil de malformation capable. Bah, donc, le monde enceinte, 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 le monde Mm -hmm. So there can be a lot of complications in um, the Are delivery, you? and there can be cardiac arrest. And so when oh, a cardiac pregnant... malformation. Oh, sorry, cardiac malformations. So when a pregnant person is concerned, they are concerned with due reason because they're not only worried about themselves; they're worried about another human being in their bodies. Yeah. So that is all I have for today. Um, we can share some. We can talk more about. Um, the causes of anxiety and symptoms and treatment um, moving forward. Okay, donc c'est ça ça que nous pour nous aujourd'hui à et nous allons continuer à parler avec anxiété dans la prochaine émission et qui traite en guerre et tout. Thank you. Donc Aliko, bon 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 bon. Donc pas quoi que Jean Cousy oui ya et mon 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 petit Jean en chapeinte. <laughs> et pour qu'on nous s'arrive les chaque tent. Pour qu'on s'arrive les chaque tent. Non, je ne sais pas ce que c'est chaque tent. C'est chaque tent. Non, chaque tent. Mon petit Jean, rien qu'à rien qu'à comme un. Parce que, et je regarde la télévision, et chicken, chicken pork, right? Et chicken pork. Et chicken pork, you really? Comment vous voulez? Monkey pox. Oh, monkey pox. Ok, 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 ok. Je ne parle pas moi. Parce que je suis obligé de chercher un nom, je ne suis pas répété ça à la radio. Pour ne pas avoir un problème, je suis obligé de chercher à faire par moi. Parce que j'ai tellement peur, j'ai un mot de bail. Bon, de toute façon, je crois que et, Pérez, la Pérez, et son bail qui caille chaque monde. Et, donc, je vais essayer, dans la mesure du possible, de parler de lui, de parler over and over de lui-même pour montrer le que m'appelle. Si le vin sur route moi, m'a rien m'a fait. Mais m'a fait tout effort possible pour m'pas faire, pour m'pas prendre. Pour éviter ça, c'est important. Yes. So, si gon dernier message vous voulez tout le monde, rappelez-nous. Lavez mes nous avec savon, avec de l'eau. De pour sortir ou rentrer, ou moi yon porte, et ben le rentrer pour va faire laver mes savon et savon et mon recevez. So just to summarize what Aliko said, he said that he's going to take all the preca necessary precautions to keep himself safe. He might have um, created this new name to kind of ease the pain and the worries <laughs> as it pertains to monkeypox. But all he can do is follow the precautions and be safe. And Dr. Jean-Baptiste um, just wanted to share a friendly reminder that she encourages everyone to make sure as soon as you get back home, wash your hands with soap. Make sure that you spend at least 20 seconds washing your hands with soap to make sure that you're um, you're safe. How about changing clothes, Dr. Jean-Baptiste, when you come back? Yeah, you can do that too. Do that too. But mostly yeah. washing. It's, it might be, I think so far what I've read is about hand washing and wearing your mask. Okay. Of course, if you were doing in a hotel, you were doing cleaning and things like that. So you will. Like oh. us, uh, we, we are PPE. So mm -hmm. if there is any patient that was, has a rash, so not only you wear your, your mask, 95, but your face mask, but they also give you a gown to wear. So mm -hmm. you can protect yourself and your loved one. Okay. Bon, c'est sous point ça, on a dit tout le monde, merci qui t'a attendu émission jeudi à moi, quoi que émission à les sous la sous YouTube, les sous Facebook déjà, parce que nous sommes live sur Facebook là, on dit les amis, nous avons partagé l'information, parce que l'information, ça ce sont des informations qui sont très importantes pour nous capables de protéger Yon Lot. C'est sous point ça, on a dit merci et puis on a rencontré samedi prochain. Merci tout le monde. Bye. Bye.